I spoke at a conference for Dementia UK and that's given me the confidence to be able to speak out um, because although I am a confident person, I don't really like speaking out in front of people, but I do it to raise awareness and to help other people. If we get rid of the stigma of dementia, hopefully the funding will come and they will find a cure for dementia because dementia is one of the biggest health crises in this country at the moment. Dementia affects everyone and the further along you are with the disease, the harder it becomes. I'm with Norm 24-7. I had to finish work because Norm can't be left by himself for long. I uh, set the kitchen on fire three times. Um, not that I'm a bad cook. I'm not saying that. It's just that I've just literally forgotten I was cooking. He has no concept of danger if he goes out on the roads. If I'm not around or he loses sight of me, wherever we are, he can panic, get agitated, and he gets very confused where we are, what's happening. During the night or late evening, Norm has horrific nightmares. We have very little sleep at night. That's every night, seven nights a week. It is difficult and it's difficult for Norm because he gets agitated sometimes because he doesn't understand. And even though we get on really, really well and always have done, it's hard. If you're a carer in a nursing home, you do your shift, you can go home. But if you're a carer for someone at home, you can't do that. There's no one else here for, to stay in for me. There's nobody else who will take a couple of hours. Um, it's just me. I don't go out in the evenings by myself. I have a carer that comes in two hours twice a week, uh, which Norm objects strongly to, but it gives me a couple of hours free time. You just need your own space and your own time to chill out yourself, to have an hour with friends, to chat about different things than caring and dementia, and because otherwise your life just revolves around it 24-7, and that's not good for anybody. If you're married to somebody with dementia, you have to take on the role of paying all the bills, making all the decisions for yourself, for your home, for the person with dementia. And that, in some respects, is one of the hardest parts of being a carer. You can either sit there feel sorry for yourself and think that's it but out of something bad comes something good because if Norm hadn't got Alzheimer's he wouldn't have raised awareness he wouldn't have written his books to help people and if it only helps one person then it's one more person that knows about dementia and it's also one person that maybe we can help along the way. <laughs>